the Flash uh, delivers a show called Family Matters Part 1, which uh, means there's a second part. So, um, there's a little more action in this, not by much, and it uh, isn't very good. Uh, you know, when you got cheap CGI, which uh, CW has a lot, uh, except on uh, Stargirl and Superman. <laughs> um, you need to uh, keep those uh, in nighttime scenes. And uh, this uh, Fureza character that they have uh, looked much better at night than in broad daylight, which they do in this episode, in, uh, uh, in, uh, right in the middle of some deserted road. And, uh, oh boy... <laughs> Oh, it's pretty bad. There's also the problem here of there's no real explanation unless it's just, you know, all magic because it's just an element of the strength force or some such. Um, yeah, I'm sure it was in the Flash comics probably recently or so, but um, they probably did it a lot better. Anyway, um... It's just when she changes from her human persona into the the Fereza entity, uh, the clothes change too. It's, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and I still say the Fereza looks like Rampage from the Superman comics. I, you know, finally said, well, is there a Fereza? So I looked it up, and yes, there is a character called Fereza uh, from The Flash. Uh, she looks more like Green Lantern in her outfit. Um and uh, she can, I think she can get bigger as she grows her power or what have you. But um, even in her normal, uh, you know, appearance or whatever, she still packs a mean wallop or something like that. Anyway, uh, and I think she later changed her name to Powerhouse. So, I don't know. But anyway, um, so the deal is she came back from the dead. <laughs> And um, Flash says, oh, well, she's got to learn to defend herself, so I'm going to train her. And she's all nervous. She doesn't want to be a part of this. Uh, but, but Flash, no, I'm, you, you can do this. And But he's being too tough and too hard. And it takes a woman to explain it to her. So uh, Caitlin tells her, yeah, I had trouble dealing with my split personality too. But I learned to deal. And so she's like, Okay, I can too. And so then she does, and so now she can control her power. And uh, Barry again has it. I was wrong. You know, because he's a stupid man. Anyway, so uh, so everything's hunky-dory. Meanwhile, uh, Psych, who is just an absolute sick bastard, now suddenly they want to um, recruit him in their fight against Nora. Uh, who has rec Oh, yeah, let me back up. <laughs> yeah, the last show ended, she was going to kill uh, the Time Force guy, Dion, or whatever his name is. And, uh, well, she didn't kill him. She she ended up recruiting him. So now she's going to team up with him to fight, you know, the Flash and his Force people. So anyway, that's the going plot of this crap. Anyway, so uh, they so they got uh, Fureza, who's actually the only nice one of the bunch. <laughs> and and keep in mind, she didn't even know she was this creature. She had had uh, nightmares and wasn't really aware of this completely until you know the Flash found her and all that. So I don't know, <laughs> but uh, uh, Psych, of course, is just a sick creep who liked to torture people with their own fears. But now, all of a sudden, he just remembered he's got a bunch of guys that he really hates from his old uh, college days, and they all became rich and successful, and he didn't. So he's been uh, torturing them one after another. And uh, I, th I thought he had killed a few, but I guess they were, like, in a coma or something. I can't remember. Because, I, <laughs> I mean, why would you... You're going to recruit a murderer? <laughs> Sorry, I'm guessing. But anyway... Uh, well, they confront him, and then they find out that he had been orphaned twice. Uh, first by his, you know, biological parents, and then his uh, adoptive parents. They died too, and but they were horribly in debt, so he went broke, and all this sort of stuff. So he's all mad at the world, and uh, so 
uh, they, they have to tell him this and realize that it's tough. But um, Iris tries to bring him in, and then she realizes even she made a mistake. I was trying to mother him, but maybe that's not best. So the Flash takes Alexa uh, Fureza uh, with him, and then she hulks out into Fureza and uh, somehow changes clothes, too, in the, in the transformation. And... Um, uh, come, you know, threatens, well, I guess not because th she's all good now, but she tells Psyche, he'd better listen. So he's like, okay. And, uh, then, uh, she says, I used to be a drug addict and I was really messed up, but now I'm better and you can be too, or something like that. And he's like, well, all right. So now they can buy finally be the family that he doesn't have. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, you know, Iris and Flash are, are their mommy and daddy. They actually do refer to them as that. And then they refer to each other as brother and sister. It's, oh God. The, the only one that was... They keep going about, oh, this event between Iris and Flash that got his powers back it, uh, resulted in them becoming, uh, you know, I guess avatars of the different forces or what have you, but... They were all ordinary, normal people, except for Nora. Nora, Nora is just a form that the Speed Force decided to take. To, to thinking that would be helpful to Barry, I guess. I don't know, but the rest of them, uh, they're yeah, they're not the children of Iris and Barry. <laughs> it's it's just stupid. It's just so they can have you know dialogue about family and stuff like that. Um, that's not how you do it. You, 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 you set that up like Superman and Lois did. <laughs> oh man, this show has fallen so far. So, so anyway, of course, now they're all, uh, together, but then Nora shows up and just wipes them all out and leaves Barry alone. <laughs> now, uh, Dion, after being such an asshole, is so, he actually, before he freezes time so that she can wipe them out, uh, it's just... I'm sorry. So suddenly he has a conscience for whatever reason. And that's it. Oh, oh my goodness. How could I forget? The other big major thing that happened is Joe quit the police force and he, he got the slow walk out of the police station. Yeah. Bet you sorry you missed that. So there you go. That's it. Not much else there. But... Part two is coming next week. <laughs> well, thank God for Superman and Lois, huh? Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.